Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in a previous video, I did several videos of the Allure of the Seas uh, from summer of 22, and I wanted to share the following with you so you get a feel for the outside areas of the ship, mostly the boardwalk, the pool deck, uh, some of the sports areas, the flow rider, and all that. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me below. I hope you subscribe to the channel and please enjoy the video. Thank you. We're going to begin the exterior tour of Allure of the Seas from inside the ship. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you how easy it is to get from the promenade up those steps or just one flight up on the elevators and out to the boardwalk. You'll find yourself doing this quite a bit as uh, from to do one activity to another when you're on the ship. Through the doors, we're gonna pass some of the horses that they have set up here. This is a progression of them building a horse, a carousel horse, and of course it ends with the carousel right in the middle of the boardwalk. The carousel's right there. There's no charge for that. And we're going to stop and do a quick turn here. And coming up is, are the, uh, is the Boardwalk Donuts. They'll have some out very soon. They get those going early in the morning. And then as we come around the doghouse, uh, that's another one where there's no charge for that. That gets really active around lunchtime. Then there's some of the shops on board, on the boardwalk here, Pinwheels, Candy Beach, Star Pier. And then as we continue to make our way around is Johnny Rockets. And this is the perfect spot for it. It's not always quite so prominent on some of the other ships, but this works out really well. It kind of goes with the whole theme. Uh, there's Sabre, that's the restaurant. And then straight ahead, is the saber bar so if you want to just grab a margarita or something like that you can and as we continue to circle around we're going to get a good vantage point of the aqua theater and i can't stress enough if you find yourself on an oasis class ship you have to check out the show in the aqua theater there is nothing else like it at sea. Uh, you'll be blown away. I, we were just amazed at, at what they did, the performers, between the dancing, the diving, all that. It was just absolutely incredible. And you can reserve a seat. Uh, we never really found it to be a problem with seating. Uh, there and then as you turn that's one of the two rock climbing walls and then on to the balconies that overlook the boardwalk so they'll have a partial view of the ocean and again the saber bar here's the balconies on the other side and there are some vantage points up above there where we'll be to in a few minutes Now here, we're at the top, we're on deck 17. This is a great area to check out the ship. Uh, you can see down into Central Park, as well as all the different pools and hot tubs that are out here. That right there is the rising tide bar that goes between decks 5, the promenade, and deck 8, Central Park. And also a view of some of the balconies that overlook Central Park. And we're heading towards the back of the ship now. This is the Wipeout Cafe. That's another grab-and-go uh, free type of restaurant that's on board. As we circle around, we're going to see the full-size basketball court. They'll do any combination of basketball there. I think they even do soccer. They may do pickleball, dodgeball, everything. Check the cruise planner. It'll list all of that out. If you want to play some ping pong with your friends, they're right there. Places to eat 
if you grit something at the cafe. And as we circle around the basketball court, it's going to give you a sense of how many lounge chairs are available. There's really no shortage anywhere on the ship. And if you have a friend of yours playing basketball and you want to watch them, that's a great place to be. And now we're heading towards the very back of the ship. Shortly, we're going to take some steps up to the Flow Rider, which is the Surf Simulator. It's one of the two that they have on the ship. And it's to the right here. This will get pretty active in the middle of the day. And uh, it's, it's fun to watch the people who are out there trying their hand at it. Those balconies that you see right there, those are the Crown Loft Suites. So some of them, if they don't look out directly to the ocean, they will look down into some of this area and down into the boardwalk. And I found a little spot here where you can check out the wake of the ship. Great spot to stand and check things out. And when you look straight down, you look right down into the aqua theater. You can actually stand here when they're performing and watch the show from up here if you want. And here we're going to head around the Flow Rider. Uh, that is a bar there to the left. And now we're going to see a few things. First of all uh, is the spot if you do the zip line. That'll take you over the boardwalk. And we're going to take a peek down into the boardwalk. You can see a good vantage point. It's also a great place to come and check out the boardwalk at night. It's very well lit and it's really pretty down there. Again, those balconies that overlook the boardwalk. And this whole sports area. And we're going to wind up at the miniature golf course here. And again, uh, as with all their ships, there's no charge for that. Uh, play with your friends and have a great time. A few more ping pong tables on this side. And we're going to wrap it up with a view, one more view down into Central Park and looking at the Aqua Theater. Thank you for checking out my video and remember if you're looking for a cruise contact me and i'll find the perfect cruise vacation for you